am Mercy Sabahal Garifuna Cultural Treasure. Me and I want proud, proud Kalina Go woman. When I came back from moving around, I realized that my Garif Garifuna culture was dwindling. And I start asking myself a lot of questions and my thing was find a way to start bringing back your culture. We had a Sarawi Women of the Soil women's group at Four Miles. I was living there then. And then um, Mrs. Aston was the president and she made arrangements and we went to Scotland Half Moon to learn to make quilts. In my quilting, there is something from my tradition, from my Garifuna tradition. I now put my ancestors away from me. And so, the first quilt we made, and Yasser Musa bought that quilt, that was Dugu. That's the Garifuna spirituality ritual. And between me and he, we put that on cloth. And that went to New Orleans and win first prize. And that gave me the boost for, I am proud to be a Garifuna, and I go deeper in my history. No, I can't draw. All of Mercy Sabal's Garifuna cultural treasure, Saladin Naris, he's my designer. I tell him what I see in a meditation and he grab pencil and paper. And then I didn't want to make just ordinary dolls because ordinary dolls no one represent my culture so then i tried to do, give them their skirt you can't do the blows because the body is too small and then after a couple months with that on the market then i decided that that still no cut it and so i discussed with him about getting the martyr, the greater, the, those are the treasures, your tools you work with. It's not only about me. It's about me, my creator, my ancestors, my group. I always give thanks and praises to the almighty creator for blessing my hands. And this um, has been my income for 36 years. 37 years now, just arts. And then we do we local coconut water, everything that back to roots and culture.